Good evening, Night Owl. We belong to the house of Senator Boostar, one of the city's most important men. We are waiting for our master to take him to the temple of Moloch. The Senate is holding a special session this evening. to discuss important matters that are beyond your understanding. How lightly you speak of sacred things. Outside of those times when there is a procession, only the priestesses have the right to contemplate the Veil of Tannin. What do you want from me? My shop is closed at this hour. I have work to do, but speak more softly. You'll wake my wife. It's our domestic genie. I give him offerings so that he'll protect my house and my city. I'm usually a generous man, but times are tough and everyone keeps his provisions for himself. If you're thirsty, I recommend the Starlight Tavern. It will be opening soon. You'll have to wait for the Feast of Tanith, which will be held in three months. Normally, the Veil of the Goddess never leaves the temple. Lola, passerby, did you by any chance happen upon my master, the treasurer Hannon? The Senate is meeting this evening, and I must advise him as quickly as possible. I, I will surely be whipped if I don't find him in time. Absolutely. After having escaped a mutiny, he returned to the palace. He, he ate a snack of, of Dormouse, crystallized in honey, to recover from his ordeal. Then he, he went out without telling anyone where he was going. Halt! The bum like you has no reason for being in the sacred precinct. It's the pride of our city, you nitwit. It's where we worship our gods, 
and where public matters are handled. Now off with you! Halt! The Senate has decreed a state of emergency. The barracks, port, and arsenal areas are all locked up at night. We may be attacked by the mercenaries. The city is concerned. The price of food will surely increase, and we anticipate that there will be shortages. In fact, if you bring us any meat, we'll offer you a good price. Greetings, O Night Owl. May the Goddess bring you love and joy. I am Night Breeze, priestess of Tanith. I live in the sacred precinct, and each night I go out to sell my charms to profit the temple. I have a rendezvous with Senator Hannon. He wants to lie in my arms and forget the rude experience he has had today. Hannon is not someone you can cross with impunity. He is a senator and treasurer of the Republic. Of course, she is our Grand Priestess. Her beauty is unequaled. <laughs> Don't expect to see her here. Although she's my mistress, she has less freedom than I do. She never leaves the sacred precinct. And seeing as you are neither a guard, nor a priestess, nor a senator, you will not be granted entry. It drapes the statue of the goddess like a sparkling cloud. We're keeping it sheltered, deep within our temple. It sits in the sacred precinct like a woman's breast being offered to the skies. It is devoted to love, the moon, and water. In front of it is the Temple of Moloch, god of the red planet and devastating fire. It's a place of power and cruelty. Carthage prefers Tanith. In times of grave danger, however, it happens that the people despair of the goddess and turn towards Moloch. Human sacrifices are then numerous, and the Exterminator Principle sometimes responds to these offerings with a terrible miracle. Know that I can help you in your endeavor, if you prove that you are a friend to my subjects. Ask the people of the city. They will tell you that I am a poor beggar, blind and crazy. But truth be told, I am a king with thousands of subjects. They fly all over the city and report what they've seen. I love them as much as I hate men. My eyes may be blind, but I can clearly see to the depths of men's souls, O Spendius. I know that you wish to obtain the Zaimph, and I approve. 
The inhabitants of this city would deserve to be punished. They are criminals who trap birds and eat them. In front of the Zaimf is a threatening guard. I know how you can charm him, but I will only share my secret with a friend of the bird. for the grain that is offering sustenance to my protégés. In exchange, I declare you a friend to the birds. You have earned my help, Spendius, and that of my subjects. But first, find a cage and bring it to me. I entrust you with my little princess. Take good care of her, for without her, you cannot get to the Zaim. Now, listen to these words that will guide you toward your goal. As each pair of demons howls in unison, the door of terror will open up for you. Pass in front of the treasures, follow darkened corridors, and find the path leading to the gardens in the sacred groves a female bird sings. And the bicephalous bird, a male, is caught in the trap. Near the slumbering monster grow three sleep-inducing flowers to be picked, ground, and then thrown in the fire. Put she who watches to sleep, charm the guardian, and close your hand over the sacred vein. Don't you touch my sausages, you thief, you. Yes, and none too soon. The day has been long. Hmm, it's a little too dry. The crops in the backcountry will suffer unless the mercenaries destroy them first. Customers that are not known are asked to pay in advance. <laughs> Impossible. I have a few smoked sausages, but I'm saving those for my faithful customers. With these threats of war, we will certainly run out of meat. The mercenaries threw stones at Hannon and his escort. They behaved like animals. Hamilcar went to find Matho and the other chiefs to ask for justice. They didn't listen to him, he who commanded them for so many years. Matho, the Barbarian, was obstinate. They say he's advised by a certain Spendius, who has turned him against Carthage. This Spendius is a potent rascal. According to some rumors, he's an escaped slave, less than a nobody. The coffers are empty. The war with Rome ruined us. Carthage ruins? That's what the Senate says. If you ask me, the treasury contains enough to pay ten times the debt owed to the mercenaries. And if this were not the case, all that would need be done is confiscate Hannon's assets. He is grotesquely rich. In fact, it's the senator's greed that may very well lead to a war. I don't see any other solution. I hope we'll be able to avoid the worst. 
We shouldn't underestimate the mercenaries. They lost the war against Rome. But they won many battles during the course of the war. Absolutely. I'm not so sure. The mercenaries' defection hit us hard. Defeatist. We still have our war elephants, the Civic Infantry, and the Sacred Legion that have never backed off from a fight. If that isn't enough, the priests of Moloch can always conjure up the demons of the ramparts, like in ancient times. Hannon will no doubt be chosen. The Senate trusts him. If Hannon is appointed, we will all regret it. He's a financier, not a soldier. It won't take long before the Senate is begging Hamilcar to take over the leadership. Carthage cannot be taken. The Zaif protects us. But the last war has reduced our fleet. It will be difficult for us to transport our supplies, and we are dependent on the waterworks for receiving water. We have nothing to fear. The waterworks is solid and well protected. He's ambitious. The Senate is wary of him, as they should be. He would stop at nothing to gain power in Carthage. Calumny. He's the Republic's best general. He did great things during the war against the Romans. If the Senate had listened to him to the end, we would still have Drapan and Lilybe. Annan is a good treasurer, concerned with the public interest. He is competent at handling the Republic's accounts. Hannon is not worthy of this position. I suspect him of diverting fiscal revenue to his own advantage. Shh! He's nearby, in the last lodge. Oh? Well, from where he is, he couldn't have heard me. Anyway, he must be very busy. You're right. What's the use of endlessly discussing events that are beyond our control? Ask Hannon. I am merely a soldier, not the treasurer of the Republic. Back up before I get angry. Oh, son of impure thoughts. Don't you know who's in this lodge? Senator Hannon. You can't disturb him. The future is uncertain. It's a good time to drink and forget our worries. Good idea. But you'll have to supply the wine. My cup is empty and I've run out of money. Highly valued merchandise in these troubled times. We'll buy it. Here, take this money. Here's some wine. Take advantage of it, as it hasn't been rationed yet.
Good idea. But you'll have to supply the wine. My cup is empty and I've run out of money. time. Senator, you are expected in the Temple of Moloch. Do not dawdle, the council has already begun. My respect, Senator. Hurry and join your colleagues, the session has already begun. Believe me, when I say I, I'm most sorry, Senator, we, we did our best. Spendius mingles with the senators present in the Temple of Moloch. Hamilcar recounts the failure of his mission to his peers. A chorus of indignant protests greets his account. We must rid ourselves of this mercenary riffraff. The money they are owed, let's melt it in their mouths, in the form of lead ingots. Despite the prudency advocated by Hamilcar, the furious senators immediately vote for war. The session is over. The room empties, and Spendius is left alone, hidden in the shadows of a pillar. Avoiding the main door, the adventurer takes a partially hidden exit that opens up onto a deep staircase. A terrible noise is heard. A mechanism has been activated, and a grill has just fallen behind Spendius, cutting off his retreat. In front of him is a corridor where a mournful echo can be heard. The Zaynf seems to be very far away. <laughs> 